2012, I've been, um, I'm also a, a composer and a singer, and um, I've been in, on a lucky streak, and I've, I've won and, or been nominated for these awards in various film and music competitions, and um, it, it's just been wonderful. I, I, they're all on Film Freeway, um, and it's, it's, you know, just a blessing, something I didn't expect. You don't expect to beat out, a, you know, several thousand people to win something or yeah. even a few hundred. And so I'm thanking my lucky stars. And it's been a long, hard career with a lot of work for 44 years and a lot of education. So, you know, I'm, I'm very educated in uh, script writing and uh, music composition and acting. And it's been my life. So, uh, you know, it's nice to finally reach a level where you're getting that kind of recognition and hopefully I can take the career to an even higher commercial level. The things that success. are most memorable for me are what I'm doing right now. The things I'm writing and bringing before the world are uh, of much more value to me because they're more extensive. They take into consideration all of my education and everything. Thing. And I have uh, two books about my life and career that are publishing soon. I'm in the process of looking for a publisher. One is Cartwells and Halos, a true Marnie Lynn Field story. And the other is Rolling with the Punches, an examination of the stunt and acting careers of Marnie Fields. I've had these books in the works, uh, the, the Cartwells and Halos, for many years. And it's my life story of being launched into Hollywood as a young champion gymnast. And within six months of being launched, into Hollywood in the 70s, hitting the top of becoming wow. one of the most prominent stunt women in the world in the 70s and 80s, as uh, Wikipedia lists me. Mm -hmm. And then I had this horrible, horrible car accident. And I was, I lost everything. And I underwent a series of abdominal operations. And I had a very spiritual healing by Jesus Christ. And so Cartwheels and Halos is a, is a book about uh, survival because I fought for my life for 12 years. And until I had that healing, I didn't start to get stronger and get better and get back on my feet. And it was during those dark years that I went back to school and I uh, kept studying my script writing and my songwriting and take dragging myself to the microphone each day because I couldn't really walk and oh, uh, oh, becoming no. the singer, songwriter, and script writer I am today. I had to reinvent myself because everything I was famous for as an actress back then and a stunt woman was I, I was once coined Hollywood's original fall girl and so I um, everything I did was human cannonball body high falls <laughs> fight ju high jumps and jumps out of jets and trains and uh, wow. buildings and so uh, with after the accident i lost all of that and i never thought i'd get on my feet ever again to perform or do anything uh -huh. so i'm really excited about cartwheels and halos uh, the uh -huh. book and then we turned the uh film historian stuff into rolling with the punches that just gives my filmography stuff. But I've just finished a book uh, entitled The Elusive Craft of Acting, an Actor's Preparation Process. And it takes into consideration, it's on paper book on Amazon and all the major outlets. Oh, nice. and also, yeah, and also uh, ebook. And it's got five stars everywhere. Um, I'm a Stanislavski and Chekhov trained actress first and foremost. And then I had celebrity coaches throughout my career. But see, as I lost the stunts I also lost the acting that was ready to break for me I was ready to become a famous actress in uh -huh. the uh, mid and late 80s and with that accident I just you know I lost everything but I'm acting again today and I've written the book nice. and um, I've got uh, a lot of plans uh, for uh -huh. the book and then I have several award-winning first place award-winning yes. what is current you just won one with the elite music 
What was that one about? Oh, okay. That's a song that's, uh, I'm nominated for best rock song. Yes. And I've, I've won their competition last year. I won best pop song of the year for release mm -hmm. my love. I have a big song out, uh, release my love and another one shadows that and standing ovation. You're the star. They have won all kinds of awards for best music video and best soundtrack and best pop mm -hmm. song or nominated best. And what um, is that uh, like? Let's stop right uh, there. Well, I really love the music scene and the music, and we want to incorporate, um, how, how can the viewers at home get started for something like, like, what was that process like for you? Were you working by yourself on that? How did you do the video? Um, enlighten oh. us with all your knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know, the, the thing is, and I know you mentioned you wanted to hear about my music and why yes, I, I love music. Yeah. Well, that's what I all I ever wanted to do when I was a small child. All I ever wanted to do was sing, but I got picked up in this gymnastics and the stunts. And I was, everyone who knows me knows I was always singing, even when I was a little girl. And so when the accident happened, which is what Cartwheels and Halos about, is that when you are on the wrong path in life, God will take drastic actions in your life to make sure that you're on the right path. And for me, that was music and finding my true calling, which I wanted so badly in childhood. But it didn't come about, it didn't just happen. I sat on the bed, I had lost everything and I was teaching myself 150 top 40 songs just if I got on my feet I would finally get the chance to sing which was something that I that which was something that I always wanted to do and um, so after long months and years of soul searching I said what can I do now? What can I do if I, you know, what do I want to do? And, and, and that's when that happened. Mm -hmm. uh, so the recognition for the music is wonderful. I got very serious about my music career in 1992 and I became a professional singer and, um, you know, it's, uh, so that, that's a song, but I have, um, a lot of charity works that okay. for me, because I have nothing and I lost everything, okay. everything I'm doing, I want to give to charity, uh, the mentally ill who are homeless and their families, injured stuntmen and women, uh, mm -hmm. suicide victim. Suicide is a very, very dangerous thing that has hit my home front and um you know so the works that i do and the things that i've got coming out i have a screenplay written about my mom who was severely disabled for 13 uh nine years and she was missing and she ended up being oh, found gosh. and i cared for her for 13 years with her disability and who's going to take care of me is the name of her script. It was titled uh, A Lost and Found Gem, but when she was a little girl, she lost her parents at three years old. Oh, wow. And she turned to her sister and said, who's going to take care of me? And her sister said, I am. And so um, it's, it's, I am so dedicated to bringing my mom's story before the public. Yeah. And so that's, that's my big goal with that screenplay. Wow, and hopefully after we're done with this quarantine thing, we can work on something together. Where are you currently residing at the moment? Well, I'm in Las Vegas. Okay. Um, I'm in Las Vegas every summer, and then I'm in back and forth Las Vegas and Los Angeles. Okay. And I've, uh, for four years, I've traveled back and forth to Australia, but I'm going to be grounded here in Las Vegas and Los Angeles the rest of this year because it's such an important time for me to be, you know, pitching everything and bringing things forward. And yeah, that sounds like a delight, and I'm, I can't wait. And that's why. I'm like, maybe we can work on something in the future because, you know, you love music, I love music, and I work with different charities as well, and I travel to Vegas a lot and Los Angeles, so that would be great. Well, now that we're talking more about um, some, uh, some of the music, I do see that you uh, want your music, let's see, tell us about your music and, and your last award-winning pop rock blues. <laughs> you had an oh, uh, award yeah. for your pop. Pop up blues, is that correct? Did I say yes. that right? <laughs> 
Well, you mentioned about the music videos, and I do yeah. want to do more music videos because I'm I'm a director, you know, with all the years. In fact, I come out of a stunt school called Paul Stater Stunt School, and some of your top stunt coordinators in the world came out of that school with me. There were only a handful of women back in the 70s that yeah. were trained there, uh, but I... I'm not as interested in directing my own own mm -hmm. things. I have directed my music videos, and I do step in as a, um, you know, for the screenplays, I want to direct the um, assistant direct so that my vision comes through. But I would not be the first unit director. I just want someone that sees my vision mm -hmm. and contributes to it. Now, yes. uh, for the pop rock blues, um, that I won last year. Um, I've won the Lanfa Nollywood Music Video Music and Film Festival mm -hmm. uh, awards uh, a couple years in a row, and I won for best music video show which was a pop blues and also I'll never kiss his lips again which is my song for suicide prevention and that is a also a pop blues so I'm a pop blues soft rock artist okay. and, um, uh, even though you standing ovation, you're the stars in an electronic dance, kind of a Berlin style electronic dance track. It still always has that dark uh, mm -hmm. undertone of dark, uh, romantic, heartbroken, or devastating lyrics because of what I went through. I don't write real simple, um, you know, uh, it's, it's <laughs> quite one man that reviewed me said, I'm the thinking man's lyricist and songwriter and what's great about me is that at my age I noticed that in some of my stuff you like hearing the more mature female voice mm -hmm. it's a break and people say you know you don't sound like you sound like a real person you don't sound like you know you've been manufactured and but I've had really famous record producers, Stuart Epps of Early Elton John and Led Zeppelin fame, and uh, Steve Valenzuela, a gold record recipient on Kelly Clarkson's uh, Greatest Hits, Volume 1, and uh, Tom Weir of Blondie and Rod Stewart. And so I think it's really important who you're working with, that you're working with people of that caliber, and they're worth the extra money, that's for sure. Yes, exactly. And I hate to jump from music to stunts, but something popped in my mind. I was like, I gotta know, I gotta know. What was the hardest stunt you had to do and uh, what did it do to, to you? Did you ever break a bone or anything like that? Well, um, I-, I Or let's with, what's the hardest? What was the hardest thing besides falling or, I mean, what, or what, what was the, hard, or maybe that was the hardest thing. Maybe you fell from a cliff. <laughs> well, yeah, I did. I did um, a lot of really dangerous and difficult high jumps off of, like, I'm the girl Clint Eastwood punched off the train and the moving train in the gauntlet. And oh, I wow. went out backwards with a half twist. And if you don't go the direction the train's going, when you go off a train, it can mm -hmm. suck you back under the wheels. So going off backwards, I had to make this twist to align my body to go the direction of the moving object. And whether it's going five or 15 miles an hour, it's very, very difficult because your body starts flailing um, at the speed times your weight. That, And then as soon as the gravitational force has left you, you drop like a, a sack of potatoes and it just flips you. And I did also a jump out of a jet taxing the runway on Rockford Files, feet, oh, feet yeah. first onto the runway. And so I did these, um, I did a dive out of a helicopter into a swimming pool to resuscitate a Patrick Duffy on Man from Atlantis. And they put me in black socks to match the actress's shoes and they were slippery. So oh. as I went out the helicopter, I almost took the whole helicopter off over into the pool with me because I slid. And I mean, mm -hmm. I did it and it, it it turned out really well, but I'll tell you something, there was nothing...